Tom. Bram. I'm sure y'all can guess what we're playing here today. All y'all know. All y'all must know. What's happening? That's right, it's part one of the Fruit Bat Trilogy, and there we go, the yes, S-Video thing finally went away. Okay. So, uh, just straight off the bat here, I've never successfully completed a, uh, any of the, uh, the first two or, uh, the first or second Pikmin games. I never even owned the second Pikmin game. So, when we get around to, uh, to the second Pikmin game, well, let's just say that's going to be one hell of an experience. This is the GameCube version. Yes, I didn't get the Wii version. Hmm, yes. All seems to be going according to plan. Once I get back to planet Hokate, Hokatate, I'll be sure to take over it as soon as possible. <laughs> no, damnable meteoroid! Blast my ship! I'm losing control! Mayday! Mayday! I'm going down! Your overlord demands you help! I can feel my ship coming apart at the seams! Hold on! Hold on, SS Dolphin! <sighs> the impact site. Oh, look at all those stars that bow down to my- what? Oh. Well then. Have a fruit bat, didn't go- didn't go it. What the heck is with that formatting? Then go V14, I think is what, is what it was. My name is Captain Olimar. While traveling through space, my ship was struck by a meteor. I must have blacked out and I awoke on this, the surface of a weird planet. With so many parts lost, the skeletal hull of my beloved dolphin is a painful sight. The engine is gone. I'm stranded! To make matters worse, my atmospheric sensors indicate this planet's environment contains high levels of poisonous oxygen. My life support systems can not function for 30 days. If I can't, uh, thank you, why can't why why can't it go for subscribing? I don't know what the deal is with the formatting here, but I'm gonna I'll fix it as soon as possible. Oh, it was uh, it was uh, Dingoni sixteen. If I can't repair it, the dolphin by then, no, better not think about it. I must find the missing ship parts. All right, so welcome to the first day in which we are stranded upon this planet. Uh, I'm trying to figure out how the camera works. Nope. You've had no. I'm trying to zoom the camera out because I can't see anything right now. Where the heck am I even going? Man, you book it in this game. Oh, what do we have here? Ah! Strange structure indeed. Who? And the plant seems to have come out. Ah, I see. Sustenance has come to me! A strange thing has appeared before me. I barely begun to search it when it reared up as if it were waiting for me. Then I dropped it, it dropped a single seed. What is it? Is it alive? Is it a machine? It resembles the vegetable in my home planet that we call an onion. I shall call this an onion too, because I'm not creative. Alright. Let's wait here. And the cultivation process takes a lot of time, but apparently not on this process. On this planet, I mean. Hmm. The seed that the underdeath dropped took, the, took root in the soil and has now produced an adorable little sprout. An adorable little sprout that I shall control! <laughs> this sprout emits a strange light and sways back and forth, without benefit of the wind. I cannot help but think it is calling to me. I'm compelled. I, I must approach it and press A. Oh, Z is how you just... No, that's how you just the angle. Alright. Ah! A creature! Yes. Yes! Minions! Ha 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 ha! Extraordinary! When I plucked the sprout, it turned out to be a living creature! Not a plant! Picking it up has done no visible damage. It just stands there, staring at me. Its shape is similar to the Pick Pick brand carrots I love so much. I believe I shall call it a Pikmin. Here I am, stranded on a toxic planet, fighting to survive, and yet I'm intrigued. I must research this fascinating creature. I should try to use it as a resource, possibly an energy supply, or a food source, as it will. Throw it with A, I will call to my side with B, and perhaps it will react to the C stick and X buttons as well. If 
Following controls appear to allow me to viewpoints. Rotate the camera with L, zoom in and out with R, and change the angle with Z. I must survive. I need to familiarize myself with these controls and my surroundings. The, the camera still won't. There we go. Jeez. All right. Let's see if we can't. And throw. All right. Not bad. You fool! Pick up that pellet. I have a feeling it is most important considering it shares your color. In we go here, and... Oh! Two more popped out! What haberdashery is this? Astonishing! The onion has sown more seeds. The small red pellet the Pikmin have harvested after cutting down a flower appears to be some type of food that can propagate more Pikmin. The onion seems to be a sort of incubator. It used to say I must study the strange life for more, and cultivate more Pikmin. For you see, minions are most important when it comes to taking over. Get back here! I shall call you Ryan, and you shall be the dumb one. Go, well, go on then, Ryan. Oh my god, Ryan. No, I didn't mean to do that. Ryan, go pick up the pellet. Your brethren, I have work to do around here. Oh, look at that, more of these. Come now. All right, come back, Ryan. You're needed. Your presence is requested in the ballroom. Yes. Oh, come back here. Uh, five pellets right over here. Yes. Surround it. Where is Ryan? Alright, grab it, you fool! Thank you! For goodness sake, I'm surrounded by idiots! Horrific artificial intelligence, it seems! So, uh... I might do something a little bit special for the other two Pikmin games, but for this one, we're just kind of goofing off and having fun. Hello, Pie Man 12234. Yes, fools! Come over here by my side. I request your presence immediately. Let's see. Anywhere else I can cultivate more of these creatures for my own amusement? No? No. That just won't do at all. Well, better get to plucking. Roll up my sleeves and pluck. Yes. Yes, they are all mine. All twelve of them. Not really much of an army. Well, I suppose ten is enough to push this this gargantuan box out of the way. And oh, look at that! They're also making a bridge. How droll! Well, come now, keep pushing, keep pushing. The Pikmin are as curious as children. They form groups to perform tasks that would be impossible for an individual. A glimmer of hope has begun to shine in my heart. I can use their skills, perhaps I can fix my ship. I shall sum up all I've learned of Pikmin conduct. Approach and press A to pick sprouts. Press A to grab Pikmin, release to throw. Press B to call them, press X to dismiss. Use the C stick to command to control the group. L and R and Z control perspective. I shall record all this in my computer. I can press Y to access the computer. Yes. These all seem like most handed victims of circumstance here, considering I'm my main priority here is to use and abuse them. <laughs> mm, I need to cultivate more of you. One for the money, they say. Any more pellets around here? I can use more slaves. <laughs> Oh, there you are. What's actually inside this box, anyway? Complete and utter darkness. Last, eh? Yes! Attempt to pick it up, Ryan! You by your lonesome! God damn it, Ryan. Amazing, there's no mistaking it. My ship's engine rests before my very eyes. By a stroke of pure luck, I have already stumbled upon the most important piece of my damaged craft. Fate has smiled upon me, but... How will I get it back to the dolphin? 
Well, you two go ahead and attempt to pick that up while I go ahead and uh, pluck some more brothers and sisters for you. As they said, they are like children, and children are very e easily uh, manipulated and corruptible. <laughs> As I march forth, I call my minions back to me. I do believe we need... When many Pikmin seeds sprouted once, I find it rather tedious to pluck them from the ground individually. My wife always told me I was no good at routine tasks. I sought to get it all done by repeatedly tapping A until I pick all the Pikmin from the ground. Notice when I add Pikmin to my group, they become filled with excitement and flushed with bright color. At other times, they revert to a paler hue, given off, and give off a dim glow. Paying close attention to these differences is bound to help me di uh, distinguish between Pikmin. Hmm, yes. Well, come now. They say Rome wasn't built in a day, but you can grow in less than five seconds! Pardon me, you two get back over here while I pluck some more brethren for you. Oh, my dear. Uh, where, where, where did he go? There he is. All right, we've got 21 Pikmin here. I do believe this is sufficient enough to be able to carry back my engine. Hmm. Well, let's get over here and get to it. Surround the craft, you fools. There we are. Where are you taking that? Well, I guess we're going to be watching them go along as it were. I will waddle along behind them. There's really only two speeds I can go. I've got stop, and I've got go. No matter how lightly I tilt on the control stick, I don't seem to go go do have any sort of precision movement. Ah, oh, such is the fate of a hocutation. Oh, there is a pellet up there! Minions, come back! I am in need of you. I must cultivate as many of you as I can, for the days won't be this easy from here on out. Two of you, grab that! Stop looking depressed, you fool. Well, whatever have you. Let's grab our engine here, and we shall be off. There we are. I seem to be missing a few Pikmin. The map doesn't seem to be any help to me either. Oh wait, no, I, I had all of them. Hmm. Yes. Cultivate them. Yes! They sure do seem to be taking quite a long time with my engine. Oh wait! Stroke of luck, they got there immediately. Oh, joyous day. My ship has been repaired! Not to its fullest, though. Hmm. Oh, glorious! With the help of these Pikmin slaves, I've taken a huge step back toward home. My ship can once again lift off, but the glimmer of hope is beginning to burn more brightly. But what has become of the remaining parts? That search starts tomorrow. <laughs> Go back into your onion. I'll return for you in the morrow, maybe. Considering I even need your assistance anymore, but with my engine in place, it should be no problem for me. <laughs> mm, once I, maybe once I've conquered Planet Hokitate, I can come back here and conquer this pathetic world. These Pikmin seem to want to do whatever I say. Day one since impact, I have somehow managed to launch the dolphin. I was surprised to see the onion lift off with me. Perhaps the Pikmin cannot survive overnight on the planet's surface, or have they merely decided to join me for other reasons. Either way, it seems they will be useful minions to me again tomorrow. <laughs> the dolphin is missing 29 parts. If I can't recover them all, I may never return home to my family on planet Hokitate. Analyst shows life support systems will function for only 29 more days. How can I repair my dolphin in such a short time? A dense forest is visible on the surface below. As it holds the key to my survival, I shall name it the Forest of Hope. I explore it tomorrow. You're wondering what's with this voice? Well, isn't it obvious? Her Lamar is quite, quite evil. Saving, do not touch the memory card or power button. Alright, and we have made it. 
past the first day and into the forest of hope. When we come back from this, uh, from our commercial break, I shall proceed with my minions to explore the forest of hope and hopefully begin my takeover of this planet. See you all then! <laughs>